Princess Eugenie arrives at the palace to finalize arrangements for her wedding next Friday, from the 15-minute carriage ride to the after-party fueled by George Clooney's tequila. There's just a week to go until the second big royal wedding of the year and today Princess Eugenie was spotted arriving at Buckingham Palace for a meeting, no doubt to put the finishing touches to arrangements for the big day. The bride-to-be looked relaxed as she was driven through the palace gates, shielding her eyes from the autumn sunshine in a pair of trendy round glasses. She took advantage of the unseasonably warm weather to sport a floaty black dress by All Saints with cutouts at the shoulders. The princess, 28, looked fresh-faced and glowing and wore her auburn locks loosely tied back from her face. By this time next week, Eugenie will be a married woman after exchanging vows with her fiancé at 11 a.m. at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, in front of their families and a rumored host of celebrity guests. Princess Beatrice will undoubtedly accompany her sister down the aisle as a bridesmaid, while Prince George and Princess Charlotte are also rumored to be playing a starring role. Following the exchange of vows, they will carry out a short carriage procession to greet well-wishers before arriving back at Windsor Castle for a lunch hosted by the Queen. In the evening, Prince Andrew is said to be throwing a lavish party at the Royal Lodge, Windsor, with a drinks menu curated by the groom, including free-flowing tequila from George Clooney's Casamigos, the spirits brand Jack works for. Here Famille reveals the ultimate guide to everything you need to know about the nuptials that could even outdo Harry and Meghan's. The ceremony. The happy couple will exchange vows in front of the Dean of Windsor, the right relevant David Connor. Eugenie appears to have paid a sweet tribute to her parents, the Duke and Duchess of York, by choosing the Archbishop of York John Sentamu to lead the prayers. Princess Eugenie is due to arrive at St. George's Chapel at 11 a.m. and, Although it's tradition for the bride to be fashionably late, royal weddings run to a strict schedule. The ceremony is being held at the same venue where Meghan and Harry, Peter Phillips and Autumn Kelly and Sophie and Edward exchanged vows, and is expected to last around an hour. The carriage procession Eugenie and Jack's journey will be a shorter affair than Harry and Meghan's, which followed a two-mile route and took around 25 minutes. They will leave from the Royal Muse out of Windsor Castle and travel onto part of the High Street, before returning via Cambridge Gate, but they will not travel down the long walk like Eugenie's cousin and his bride. It will follow the same route as the procession of Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex, who also married at St. George's Chapel. The couple may well decide to travel in the Ascot Landau, a smaller and lighter carriage than the state Landau with basketwork sides which was the choice of Peter Phillips and Prince Edward and their brides for their St. George's Chapel weddings. The guests, rather like Harry and Meghan, who married at the same venue in May 2018, Eugenie and Jack are predicted to be surrounded by A-list invitees. There's expected to be some crossover of social circles with Amal and George Clooney, James Blunt, Cressida Benes, Elton John and the Beckhams all tipped to attend their second royal nuptials of the year. But Eugenie's guest list is said to have an extra sprinkling of edginess in the form of a younger, cool crowd that includes pop singer Raleigh Goulding, Cara Delevingne, and Soky Waterhouse, and modeling royalty Kate Moss and Cindy Crawford. Today the bride's mother Sarah Ferguson confirmed that surgeon Jan Lehovsky, a doctor at the Royal National Orthopedic Hospital in Stanmore, who performed corrective surgery for scoliosis on Eugenie when she was 12, will be among the guests. The consultant orthopedic spinal surgeon also fitted two 1.5-inch screws to Eugenie's neck in the eight-hour procedure, which helped her to stand straight to this day. She did have what would have been very serious curvature of the spine, the Duchess of York told the Evening Standard, she certainly will be an extraordinary example of great work from the Rana. The wedding is about love, future and inclusivity. Members of the public and charity reps who got an invite. The couple invited members of the public to apply to join the celebrations in the grounds of Windsor Castle and sent out 1,200 invitations after whittling down 100,000 applications. They will be joined by representatives of charities and organizations supported by the couple, including the Royal National Orthopedic Hospital where Eugenie received treatment for scoliosis the Teenage Cancer Trust, 
the Salvation Army and the UN Trust Fund to end violence against women will also be represented. Eugenie has also chosen to include her former schools St. George's School and Cowarth Flexlands School by inviting youngsters from both, as well as members of the community from around Windsor, Castle residents and royal household staff. The dress British Branderden has emerged as the clear frontrunner to design Princess Eugenie's wedding dress, ahead of her big day. Eugenie, 28, is known to be a big fan of the label, wearing designs by the designer on a number of occasions, including for her official engagement photograph with fiancé Jack Brooksbank. Ladbrokes now has her MS7 halves favorite to be unveiled as the wedding dress designer, followed by Susanna, Jenny Packham, and Alice Temperley. Eugenie previously revealed in an interview with British Vogue that her wedding dress designer would be British. I'm not telling anyone who is making it, but I can say it is a British-based designer, she told the magazine. Her revelation that the designer has been British-based has increased the speculation around Erdem. The brand's eponymous designer Erdem Morali Aglu, who is originally from Canada, had been been widely tipped to get the big job of designing the Duchess of Sussex's wedding dress. The evening party. Although the venue has not officially been confirmed by Buckingham Palace, Eugenie and Jack are reportedly having their evening party at her father Prince Andrew's home, the Royal Lodge at Windsor. The venue is three miles away from the main castle, so royal fans will most likely get a second view of Eugenie and her new husband as they depart for the evening due. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were photographed leaving for their evening reception at Frogmore House and Eugenie is expected to follow the former suit star's example by changing into a second gown for the party. Guests will be treated to lashings of Kissimago's tequila, the label co-founded by Hollywood star George Clooney and of which Jack is European brand manager. I've not been kept out of all the planning, I get to decide some things. I'm in charge of drinks and will be serving Kissimago's, he told the male Sebastian Shakespeare.